Hello, today we're going to be working on Squid Juice Angelic Feather Wing Overlay. Um, this is what you get inside the folder. You get a pair of wings, you get a light color overlay, and a dark color overlay. And this is our model here. Um, there's two ways you can add the wings. The first way is you could just go to the wings, use the move tool, and just click on it and drag it over and put it wherever you like. And then you can come over here and put a mask on it. Push B for brush. Make sure it's on black. And this is where you can kind of paint it off where you want it off. And if you need to, you can lower the opacity so you can see where you need to paint it off. Another way that I like to do is on your subject, you do select, select subject. And it select it all. And then I like to zoom in and make sure that it got everything. And you can use the plus to add, subtract to take away. So I'm going to add just a little bit more up here. Make sure. Maybe subtract just a tad down here. I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to zoom back out. Um, now when you're in the select, you got in, inside the your selection, you right click. And it brings this up, and you do layer via copy. And then you gotta click on the background layer, find your wings, use the move tool, drag them on over, and then you just place them wherever you need them. You can, you know, control T brings up the binding box, and you can make them bigger, make them smaller, move them around wherever you need it. I think it looks perfect just like that. And when you're done, you push the checkbox. Now to change the color, you have the light and the dark, so we'll try both. Is the light, just the move tool, grab it, bring it over on top. Make sure it's covering the wings, as you can see it is. And then you come over here, and on anywhere in this space, right click, and do create clipping mask, and it clips it down. Now to change the color, you click in here. And you can move it anywhere in here. You can move this up and down. You can take your little picker color thing here and click anywhere in the background. If you want something skin color on our dress, wherever you want. Um, so we'll just keep it at that. And then um, let me just hide this one for now. And then if you want to try the dark one, same thing. Use your move tool. Grab it over. Bring it over. Make sure it's covering the wings. And if you made your wings bigger or smaller, you can just do Control T and you can adjust the size like that too. And then you right click, create clipping mask, and you can see the color here. And if you want to change it, click in here and you can choose any color in here. Um, you can also go up and down in here, see how it's a little darker than the lighter one. And then you can also click in here. And I mean, if you want to try a little bit of both, you can get a little bit of highlights here. Um, and when you're all set, click in your colors. Uh, I like to, with the wings, I'm just going to shut this off so you can see the wings. I'm going to click on the, uh, choose the wings. I'm going to zoom in here. Another hint that you can do. And I want to use my smudge tool here, and the brush I have, you can change it up here, is the three little dots. And I like to just kind of maybe like bring it out a little bit more, just so it looks like it hasn't been cut out. A little bit, so you can see, and then if you zoom out, you can see it's just, I don't know, it just looks like it's not as cut out. And I also use this for fur. But yeah, and then when you're all set, you can go into the background layer here, right click, flatten image, and this is where you can do your global edits if you want, or you're all set. Um, I hope this helped. Thank you for watching.